Hi guys, welcome to the channel. India, a land of many diverse cultures and languages, and is full of many surprises. It has many tourist places to visit in India that are worth your time. The beautiful and fabled lands of India is known for its extremes, history, and enormous diversity. The country is still one of the most popular travel destinations in the world and attracts backpackers, cultural and spiritual seekers, and just those in search of a good party. Take a look at our list of the finest things to do in India. Number 10. Puryar National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary, Madurai One of South India's most popular tourist attractions, Puryar National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary is centered around a lake built by British engineers in 1895 for irrigation and to provide water to the city of Madurai. Established in 1934, this beautiful park is home to numerous species of mammals, including a large free-roaming Indian elephant population, wild boar, otters, the lion-tailed macaw, and more than 20 Bengal tigers. Bird watching is a popular activity with frequent sightings of species such as darters, storks, kingfishers, hornbills, and racket-tailed drongos, along with many interesting varieties of butterflies. Number 9. The Beaches of Goa Long known in India as the go-to destination for those seeking a great beach holiday, Goa's beautiful western coastline, overlooking the Arabian Sea, has only recently been discovered by tourists from overseas. Goa's more than 60 miles of coastline is home to some of the world's loveliest beaches, each with their own particular appeal. For those looking for peace and quiet, isolated Aganda Beach is a good choice, while Kalagut Beach is by far the most commercial and crowded. For those in search of posh resorts, yoga getaways, and spa vacations, the beaches of Mandram, Morjam, and Ashwam are fashionable among wealthy Indian and Westerners alike. Palolam is another one of Goa's popular beaches in a beautiful setting. Number 8. Amur Fort, Jaipur Amur Fort, often also spelled Amber, was built as a fortified palace in 1592 by Maharaja Man Singh I and has long served as the capital of Jaipur. Carved up high into the hillside, the fort is accessible on foot via a steep climb or by shuttle ride from the town below. Better still, let an elephant do the work. Highlights include Jalib Chawak, the first courtyard, with its many decorated elephants, and the Shila Devi Temple, dedicated to the goddess of war. Also of note is the adjoining Hall of Public Audience, Diwani Am, with its finely decorated walls and terraces frequented by monkeys. Other highlights include Suk Nawaz, the Hall of Pleasure, with its many flower beds and channel once used to carry cooling water, and the Temple of Victory, Jai Mandir, notable for its many decorative panels, colorful ceiling, and excellent views over the palace and the lake below. Just above Amur Fort is Jaigar Fort, built in 1726 by Jai Singh, and featuring tall lookout towers, formidable walls, and the world's largest wheeled cannon. Number 7. Mecca Majid, Hyderabad Construction of Hyderabad's Mecca Majid, one of the world's largest mosques and one of the oldest in India, began in 1614 during Muhammad Quli Qutub Shah's reign and took almost 80 years to complete. Large enough to accommodate 10,000 worshippers, this beautiful mosque's 15 enormous arches and pillars were each wrought from single slabs of black granite dragged from the site by huge cattle trains reputedly consisting of up to 1,400 bulls. Taking its name from the bricks above the central gate that were brought here from Mecca, this impressive complex features highlights such as its main gateway, a huge plaza, and a large man-made pond. Number 6. Mumbai, the Gateway of India Standing an impressive 26 meters tall and overlooking the Arabian Sea, the iconic Gateway of India is a must-see when in Mumbai. Built to commemorate the arrival of King George V and his wife Queen Mary in 1911, this stunning piece of architecture was opened with much pomp and ceremony in 1924 and was, for a while, the tallest structure in the city. Constructed entirely of yellow basalt and concrete and notable for its Indo-Saracenic design, the Gateway of India was also the scene of the rather less jubilant procession of British soldiers in 1948 when India gained its independence. If you are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. Number 5. The Red Fort, New Delhi 
built by Shah Jahan in 1648 as the seat of Mughal power, a role it maintained until 1857, the magnificent crescent-shaped red fort in New Delhi, named after the stunning red sandstone used in its construction, covers a vast area of more than two square kilometers, all of it surrounded by a large moat. Highlights include its two largest gates, the impressive Lahore Gate, the fort's main entrance, and the elaborately decorated Delhi Gate, once used by the emperor for ceremonial processions. A fun part of visiting is exploring Chata Chowk, a 17th century covered bazaar selling everything from jewelry to silk garments, as well as souvenirs and food items. While you can explore the fort yourself, guided tours are offered and provide a fascinating insight into the life and times of the Shah, including a peek into the stunning white marble hall of public audiences, Diwani Am, where he received his subjects. Number 4. The Golden City, Jai Salmer So named for the yellow sandstone used in most of its buildings, the Golden City of Jai Salmer is an oasis of splendid old architecture that rises from the sand dunes of the Thar Desert. Once a strategic outpost, today the city is filled with splendid old mansions, magnificent gateways, and the massive Jaisalmer Fort, also known as the Golden Fort, a daunting 12th century structure that rises high above the town. In addition to its palaces, temples, and fine old homes, the fortress boasts 99 bastions along its massive gates leading to its main courtyard where you'll find the seven-story tall Maharaja Palace. Number 3. Harmandir Sahib the Golden Temple of Amitsar Founded in 1577 by Ram Das, Amitsar is an important hub of Sikh history and culture. The main attraction here is Hamandir Sahib, opened in 1604 and still often referred to as the Golden Temple for its beautiful gold decoration. The holiest of India's many Sikh shrines, it also attracts many Hindus and people of other faiths. The temple was built in a blend of Hindu and Islamic styles. The lower marble section features such flourishes as ornate inlaid floral and animal motifs, while the large golden dome represents a lotus flower, a symbol of purity to six. Number 2. The Holy City of Varanasi Dating back to the 8th century BC, Varanasi is one of the oldest still-inhabited cities in the world. A major pilgrimage center for Hindus, this holy city has long been associated with the mighty Ganges River, one of the faith's most important religious symbols. Varanasi offers many reasons to visit, not least of them the chance to explore the old quarter adjacent to the Ganges where you'll find the Kashi Vishwanath Temple, built in 1780. The new Vishwanath Temple, with its seven separate temples, is also of interest. Bathing in the Ganges is of great importance to Hindus. The numerous locations known as Ghosts feature stairways leading to the water where the faithful bathe before prayers. Number 1. The Taj Mahal, Agra Perhaps India's most recognizable building, the Taj Mahal is also the world's most famous testimony to the power of love. Named after Mumtaz Mahal, the favorite wife of Emperor Shah Jahan, this most beautiful of mausoleums was begun upon her death in 1631 and took 20,000 workmen until 1648 to complete. Incorporating many elements of Islamic design, including arches, minarets, an onion-shaped dome, and black calligraphy inlaid around the entrance, the Taj Mahal is largely constructed of white marble. Adding to its splendor are delicate inlaid floral patterns and precious and semi-precious stones such as jade, lapis lazuli, diamonds, and mother of pearl. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below, which one of them is the most beautiful? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.